Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today we have another Holothon release, the collaboration between NECA and Target. Uh, I found this one in store, but it went up for sale on March the 10th on uh, NECA's website. I'm sorry, on Target's website. This is Ultimate Herman Munster from Rob Zombie's The Munsters. Now, I, for one, was a huge fan of this movie. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but to me, it perfectly captured and updated the aesthetic of the original television show. I thought the cast were absolutely fantastic. I've watched it, I think, four times now. Uh, once on the day it premiered, uh, once with the misses, once uh, when I got the Blu-ray, and once with the commentary. I, I mean, I'm a huge Rob Zombie fan, but I really, really like this movie. I love that he kept it family friendly. It's goofy. It's silly. Uh, I just, I dig it, man. I really liked it. And I was thrilled to know that NECA was doing ultimate figures of, uh, looks, we've got Herman, Lily, and the Count, who is not yet grandpa, uh, in this movie, because it is a prequel to the show explaining how Herman and Lily got together. Uh, I cannot wait to get the other figures. I don't know if they're going to be part of Holothon or if they're going to be later releases, but I, I would like to get them as soon as possible. Uh, Herman includes uh, a record, a novel, interchange interchangeable heads and hands. Uh, you can see the team that brought this work of art together. Got it to target shelves. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be available everywhere, but Holothon is like a target first type of deal. On the front, got uh, beautiful artwork. On the inside, you've got, look at that beautiful green ghoul featuring Jeff Daniel Phillips' likeness as Herman Munster. Uh, let's, let's get it opened up. I was delighted to find this in store. Uh, a lot of the Holothon stuff has been hitting stores a little bit earlier. Because like, I think it's every Sunday. Target is supposed to put out their NECA Holothon stuff, and it's kind of just going out whenever they get it. Uh, or sitting in the back forever and ever and ever, and then going out some other time. I don't know. Uh, but whatever the case, I'm happy to have Herman. Uh, got a cool little backdrop with a nice interior of the castle, little window going on. Pretty simple, but color-wise looks great. And then Herman himself, this... I don't know how to describe the color of green that he is. Uh, it's almost an anti-Pepto. Like if there were a green Pepto-Bismol, this is the color it would be. It's, it's, it's the green of Aquafresh. I, I don't know how to describe it. But it's wonderful, and it's something very different from anything else on my toy shelf, which is, you know, very often a selling point for me. I love getting something that's going to stand out that is not like everything else. And, and that is, you know, that, that not only describes this Herman Munster, it also kind of describes Rob Zombie's The Munsters in general, uh, because it is a movie that is unlike anything else. When it was first announced, you know, people were like, oh, are they going to have, you know, The Munsters doing horrible things, committing gruesome acts of violence and, and cursing and and doing the things that we're used to seeing in Rob Zombie movies. And my hope was certainly no, but you, you never know with that guy. But I felt like he had a, a respect and a love for the franchise that would keep whatever he did true to the feeling of the original television show. And I, and I personally feel that that's what we got. Uh, a really beautiful update. Uh, a loving homage to the monsters. And, uh, you know, reactions have been mixed, as they are with almost everything nowadays. You have your detractors who are very, very, very vocal, and then you've got your supporters who, who are just kind of like, yeah, I really liked it, it was nice, and, and don't feel the need uh, to spend the rest of their lives obsessing about how much they hate something, which is a weird way to live, if you ask me. All right, so there is, look at that guy. Uh, again, Jeff Daniel Phillips, I, I think, did a wonderful job as Herman. You've got, so this is a, a, a rubber overlay or like a soft plastic overlay, whatever. You know how NECA does this stuff. Uh, and you can feel underneath that torso is connected. 
Uh, but the head is on, there's a ball joint here at the base of the neck. And then the head itself is on probably a double barbell. We'll find out in a minute when I very, very carefully try and switch the heads out. Actually, let's take a look at the alternate portrait, which this tongue out cracks me up. This is such a, an interesting choice, but I love it. Uh, and you can see there's a nice big uh, socket in there. So hopefully the heads will be relatively easy to switch out. Uh, the paint is beautiful. I love they captured the like sort of double chin going on right here. Uh, he's got the black lips, the black eyeliner, uh, just beautiful, beautiful paint job on him. Uh, he's got the bolts, or I'm sorry, the I guess the staples in the top of his head there. Looks absolutely fantastic. I love the red. Uh, the, they really went for a garish color scheme on the movie rather than trying to make them realistic at all or making them strange colors. Well, I mean, they are strange colors, but like, I don't know, the contrast is just so wonderful. Uh, and then he's got sort of your standard shoulders there. Single joint. Oh, that's very interesting. So his sleeves, which we've suffered a little, a little pinching right here, you can see just from me bending that up. Or maybe not. Uh, I mean, there's a little mark there, but I think that's a production thing. I don't think that's a just happened because if you look, that's not where that stops. So this is a rubber outer sleeve on top of his arm. And my guess is this is constructed this way. Uh, my hope anyway, is that we're also going to see a rock and roll Herman. Uh, like we saw in the music scene with the hat and everything, and they can reuse maybe this lower portion of the arm for that one. Uh, so they just did this little, this rubber sleeve. Uh, the, look at that. Look at the degree of articulation there. So from a straight bend, and you get a really nice more than 90 degree because this is just a soft plastic. Very ingenious. Uh, looks good. Uh, you've got, oh, heck of a waist joint, ball jointed waist, so you can, you can get down and boogie pretty well. Uh, you get a little slit here in his fur. Uh, this is the sort of the son of Frankenstein look that he has uh, in the movie. Just all the different pelt textures, and you can see a little bit of the stitching going on up here. Looks really good, the big belt on there uh, and then hips we've got standard NECA hips uh, with that covering right up here single jointed knees with the oh wait did I check okay so the arms do have rotation at the top of the elbow joint knees designed the same way his big giant platform stack shoes and they are modern ankle articulation you know that we, we kind of come to expect from everything now uh, and you can also see the stitching and that sort of unique design he's got on his pants just all the color all the the sculpting on the wrinkles and the seams and everything I mean, this is what NECA does now. They're masters. Uh, it does have peg holes in the bottom of those feet. And he is a big boy, obviously. You know, he is a Frankenstein, I suppose, is how you would describe Herman. Uh, he is almost nine inches tall, which is very large. I don't have... Any other NECA figures out here? I, I recently put everything away that had been sitting out here waiting. Uh, but if you want a little comparison, here's your double zero snake eyes from the G.I. Joe classified line, which is, uh, you know, one twelfth scale and not one tenth scale as NECA stuff is, but still pretty good. Uh, but, you know, good articulation. Look at that. He can sit down. If I had a chair, uh, I think he would be able to sit in the chair relatively well. Do I have, let's see. There we go. You can sit down. 
this is this is great. He's a great figure. And NECA, I, I know I say this every time I review a new NECA product, but they have really found their groove. Uh, everything that they're putting out now is pretty outstanding stuff. So yeah, Herman looks great. We took a look at the alternate portrait. He has got several hand options. He's got a magazine or a record holding hand, a book holding hand, kind of an open hand, and then some closed fists, not so much for punching, but for sort of, let's see. Let's see if we can do a little swap out here because I really want to do the pose I'm thinking of uh, with these fists. Uh, so the hands popped out pretty nicely there. I noticed they're a little softer plastic. So there's uh, a little less resistance to switching them out. So I'm not, I don't think you're quite going to get the effect I was going for, but I was going for kind of a giddy, like, yee, Herman Munster type of thing, uh, rather than the idea that he's actually going to be fighting anybody, because it's unlikely that that's something Herman's going to be doing. Uh, and then finally, he comes with uh, no record, but a nice, nicely printed, folded over piece of cardboard, uh, Yowza Baby of uh, Herman Munster's band. With the beautiful graphics on the front. And you know what? I'm not so sure. Yeah, it is It is cardboard, but it feels really, really nice. Uh, you might even be able to see the way the printing is done. Like, it's a nice, thick, heavy printing. Uh, looks great. So I'm definitely going to have him on the shelf holding that record. Uh, and then he also has... Is Edgar Allan Poe uh, which actually is sculpted plastic, I believe. Oh, sorry. Focusing is challenging today for some reason. So there you go. That is I say today. Focusing is always challenging uh, for me. There is Herman Munster in his glorious Technicolor green skin. Oh, let's try and swap the head out. Let's see if that's as easy as the hands. And you want to be very, 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 very careful with this head because he's got those bolts on his neck. Uh, I would not put any pressure on those whatsoever. Yeah, I'm going to want to heat that guy up before I swap that head out. So, uh, any well, and I don't even know that I'll... I probably won't even use the other head. So, there there may not be a swap here at all. But, we, I mean, we know how NECA stuff is. Be It's it's sturdier than it's ever been, but be careful. Uh, so, there you go. The newest Holothon pickup. I'll be keeping an eye on what's coming out and reviewing it here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. So, stay tuned. Uh, and, as always... Oh, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about needless things, and rock on, man! Smash that like button if you like needless things.